And tonight I'm observing the Sky Max. This is a Sky Max uh, 150 Max set of telescope. I'm using again the Sky Watcher one and a quarter inch uh, band of viewer with two weeks and 25 millimeter rotoscopic eyepieces. And the uh, image quality is excellent. We don't have any aberration. But although I use the refractor 10 uh, millimeter or 10 centimeter refractor last night, and I feel although that one had chromatic aberration, the image quality was sharper. This is good, better than anything, but um, <laughs> refractor is the best for planetary views. That's the moon I'm watching. And of course, this uh, telescope was more than three hours outside just to for thermal equilibrium because the end of this telescope is closed. The air inside it is a long time it takes to reach equilibrium, thermal equilibrium. Uh, so I left that uh, for that amount of time. Uh, of course I'm holding the camera by hand and I can see that across the field even by camera I mean I'm talking about now uh, the entire f image is in focus um, unlike what it was by the refractor so I'm just actually enjoying this more now knowing this fact Wow, I've changed now to the 18 millimeter the, um, Butter Classic Ortho eyepieces and uh, it's amazing. I feel that I can see almost the uh, Hadley real, the famous uh, lunar lava tube, which is uh, the roof of it has collapsed and Apollo 15 have landed. So, uh, I may be wrong, but anyway, this is how I feel. Uh, I may use later a uh, 10 millimeter just to see how what I will see.
the color you see on the top is artifact due to the angle of the camera from the camera lens toward the eyepiece there is no color such color visually at all Okay, I'm now using 10 millimeter Bother Classic Auto eyepieces. And you can see that the image starts to deteriorate, although you can see more details, but uh, at the same time, it's slightly more than what is comfortable. Probably 12 or 14 or 15 would be the ideal magnification, probably 12 more. Uh, if I had another one of those uh, Takahashi 12 and a half millimeter Takahashi LE that would have been excellent. I have only one of it, so I cannot buy any view with uh, with that one. That is the sharpest surface. <laughs> uh, Takahashi LE sharper than any teleview or anything. Again, I'm holding the camera by hand against the eyepiece. All the false colors you see are just artifacts of the angle of the camera lens toward the uh, eyepiece. And visually, there is no false color. Okay, I'm just observing now and I just can enjoy and I say, wow, that's a really amazing magnification. Oh, tense. 10 millimeter you i see so much details hardly really is <laughs> visible <laughs> the mount hadley delta is also visible beautiful beautiful all the details okay now i'm using the 16 millimeter nirvana this is a sky watch of helios 16 millimeter nirvana 82 degrees ifis amazing field of view and it's much easier to hold the camera against the eyepiece for taking an image or video i could find a seven millimeter but i think that seven millimeter would have been perfect i found one but not the other pair Razzie. Ooh. yes Smith.